off and it looks as though Tom has decided on the unusual tactic here of heading round the side of the grid. That will fool Spartan, who's quickly following him and swinging closer already. Remember, Tom's already been beaten three times by Spartan, so he's playing for pride here as well as points. But he can't seem to get into a rhythm. Spartan's long legs reach towards him. Tom bravely defends himself, but he's in danger now, all right. Spartan has locked on here and he's celebrating already even before the job's finished. That's confidence for you. Getting to work on Tom's grip, but Tom is holding on. Perhaps Spartan will be wishing he hadn't celebrated quite so soon here. He's holding on, but he's not in the scoring zone, so he's wasting valuable energy before the next event. And finally, he's down. 15 stone of Spartan through too much. Woody, you said it wasn't your favourite one, but you nearly hung on, man. Is that your plan in the end? Uh, I was hanging on, but to be honest with you, the breath was getting that bad, I just had to let go. I, I hear you. Bad breath can do that to you. Bad breath can do that to you. Here he comes. <laughs> Try and defend myself, but then he got his legs right up high next to him. I thought he was going around my neck at one point. There we uh, he, gave me, he gave me a little bit of verbals in the ear as well, but... Uh, He's saying, does my hair look good? Uh, does my dress look good? <laughs> <laughs> so Spartan, in hindsight, I should have got, got to work on his hands, getting him down, he's a strong lad. So what about the fact that, that are you going to get mints? Are you going to sort your breath out? Or what are we going to do about that? This is a false allegation. This is a false, you know, I mean, It's true, it's a false allegation. His breath <laughs> is quite fresh. But anyway, let's have a look at the scoreboard and see how you and Greg are shaping up. So in this first quarter final, the gladiators again get the better of the contenders. Greg's still on nine points, Tom's got 13. Very soon our contenders will go head to head as they clamber their way through the eliminator, but not before they faced the wall. The wall. Chasing the girls tonight and ready for the ankle grabbing action, it's Tempest and Enigma. Contenders! You will go on my first whistle. Gale Ready up against us. the deadly Tempest you again. For Janine, it's her first one-on-one -on -one encounter with Enigma. Three, two, one. Now, because this is the quarterfinals, the contenders only get a seven-second head start rather than ten. In the heats, Gale managed to stay on for 40 seconds. Both girls have made a good start here. Janine just slightly in the lead. And now Tempest has grabbed hold of Gale again. That's trouble. Gale has a very firm grip, but Tempest is really going for it here. Gale hanging on with all her might as Janine storms ahead. She's over. Her fans delighted. And Enigma furious. Gale still hanging on. Only one hand on the wall now. Still time on the clock. And finally, Tempest prizes her off. Janine, this was a very hard event. Enigma is pretty quick there. And you did it. How are you feeling? Absolutely, on top of the world, fantastic. I just focus completely on that. Could hear her come in, and it's great because you can make you go quicker. And there could not go. wait to get up there. So you're on the scoreboard. You must be delighted. Yeah, definitely. Well Finally, done. Finally, yes. Gail, bad luck again. Tempest got you. I was just trying to grip on with you. Like, she was flying me loads more than last time. <laughs> you are very strong, I have to say. <laughs> not strong enough on this one, unfortunately. Never mind, looking forward to Eliminator. Yes, very much so. And Tempest, just quickly, did you ever doubt yourself there? Because she was holding on for dear life, quite frankly. Well, again, yeah, she had the amazing grip the first time I came up against her, and she had really good grip again today, and I, would, I was not going to let her get away with it, and I got her down. You did. OK, well, well done, girls. That was your final event. Let's have a look at the scores and see which one of you will be getting a head start. So, after trailing for the whole show, that win on the wall gives Janine a one-second head start in the Eliminator. She's got ten, Gale stays on eight. So, it's our boys' final event before they face the Eliminator for a second time. They're going to have to quite literally get a grip. And looking to hold them back from winning this event is Predator and Tornado. Contenders! You will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. This a 
new event for both contenders. Greg quick on his feet, and with Predator on his tail, he'll need to be. He's flying up the wall. But those seven seconds have gone, and Predator leaps into action. Even with his injury, Greg still out in front, but Predator is getting closer, and now he latches on, and the kill is complete. He's chewed him up and spat him out. And Tornado's got Tom by the foot. Can he hold on? Now he's grabbed his shorts and they've given way. Tornado slips and surely now Tom can make a dash for it. Tornado's back on the wall, the fight's still on. But Tom's going to get there by the seat of his pants. Or should I say without them? A brilliant result for Tom. And look how fired up he is now. Come on! Be happy with that 10 points. Uh, Greg is fast, very fast, so all the points are going to come in handy. I've got to say as well, Tornado is quick as well, but you just got away from him. I felt him on my foot, and it was a tough one on my foot. He went for my shorts in as well, and my shorts just slipped, and uh, that was it. Your pants look torn. Turn around, let me have a look at you. Hey! Come on! Tornado, you can't be happy with that, are you? <sighs> what can I say? I had him, I had him in my grasp when he ripped, so. Sounds a bit of an excuse to me, Tornado. Greg, you didn't have much luck up there either. What happened yeah. with you? I wasn't flying up there, but I was moving fairly quickly. There he is already, one jump, and he's, he's on my feet. Okay. You can hear the thumping coming up the wall, and it is coming quicker and quicker. At this point, I'm, this, that's not my route at all. I'm sort of panicking, trying to get away, and he's got me done. And how's your wrist, Greg? It's all right. Yep, yeah, it's a bit painful, but I have to soldier on. Predator, quick word with you. You must be thrilled about that. That was, that was a great performance for you, wasn't it? This is the Predator. I come, I see, I grab you. Fair enough. Fair enough. OK, let's see how that event has affected the scores. That win, Tom has a 14-point lead going into the first quarter-final eliminator, and that means a huge seven-second head start over Greg. This is what you get when you mess with our gladiators. Remember, if you want up-to-date news, views and behind-the-scenes gladiator access, you can go to our website. Details are on the screen now. So our cool fighters have taken a bride of a gladiator fashion, but they have no time to rest because in a moment they'll be tackling the toughest event of them all for the second time. It's going to be good. See you after the break. seen four contenders clash about superheroes in spandex as they push them through dual powerball hang tough and the wall but do you think they've had enough i don't think so because they're all limbered up and ready to take on the toughest challenge of all facing the eliminator for the second time is gal and janine girls you've both tasted victory on the eliminator is it strange to be facing it again gail no i just want to get it started now and do it now janine you've got a one second head start do you think that's enough to clinch it I think a one second aside, it's in a blink of an eye, but it's the level, level, really, and just go all out. Good luck to both of you. Off you go and get ready. Janine, you will go on my first whistle. Gail, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Janine has a slight lead here, but don't forget that in the heat, Gail's eliminator time was 20 seconds faster than Janine's. Strong swimming from both girls, but it's Janine who holds on to her lead to reach the cargo net first. A job in the RAF means she's used to these tough assault courses, but Gail's giving her a real run for her money here, and she isn't far behind. In fact, it looks like Gail is just inching into the lead. It's very close. They're almost neck and neck. Both women so desperate to win through to that place in the semi-finals and go one step closer to being series champion. Janine has seen her lead blown away already, though, and Gail has powered through. First to the handbars. Janine's not far behind, but Gail showing tremendous strength here, making this part of the course look almost easy. And she leaves Janine swinging in her way as she sets off towards the pyramid. Janine has seen her rival sprint away. Gail's giving it everything now. That place in the semi-final in sight, and she's really focused. Onto the zip line she goes, flying towards a place in the last four. And as she clambers off the mat, Janine is nowhere in sight. Is there any way Janine can catch Gail now? 